How's it going, guys? We're going to go ahead and take a look at Malwarebytes Premium in 2022. Now, this is what it looks like here when you download the trial. I will post the link on the description of the video below for the link for the trial so you can try it for, I think, 14 days, I believe. Um, when you go to it, just uh, follow the directions on there or click on the free download button up here. I know there's a free version of Malwarebytes, but you know what? They don't show it on the website, guys. I cannot find it on the website. If you Google it, then you could find it that way. But right now we're doing the paid version, the premium. Uh, premium. We're doing a trial version of it. But I will make a video on the free one too. But like I said, you can't find it here. What the heck? But jumping into the premium trial. First, let's look at uh, the pros and cons according to PC Magazine here. I have some screenshots from uh, PC Magazine. So, according to PC Magazine, Malwarebytes Premium, uh, pros is maximum possible score in our hands-on malware protection test. This is good, guys. I'm going to give this one a good review because of this. The test is where the rubber meets the road. The test through PC Mag, which I'll explain and show you here in a bit what they do. That's where we really got to look at. Okay. Some lab scores are low in the cons, but anyway, let's continue. Excellent scores in phishing and malicious URL blocking tests. So another test that was good. Speedy full scan. So the scan goes fast, even if when it's full, full scan. Includes exploit protection, ransomware protection, behavior-based detection. Good, good. That's good stuff. More independent lab test results. So they tested the crap out of it. The only cons is some low lab scores. We'll look at which ones are low here in a bit. And let's take a look at the uh, specs on here. So it's got on-demand malware scan. On access malware scan. Website rating uh, doesn't have that, so that's not good. When you're on the web, you want to see, you know, I know AVG has a really good one. Kind of hard to remove once you install it, <laughs> but uh, it tells you the rating. But anyway, malicious URL blocking, yes. Phishing protection, yes. Phishing is when they give you a fake Facebook website to log into. You put in your login details, it could be Facebook, it could be anything. You put in your fake login details, and they get your password, and it's a fake website the whole time. That's phishing. Protects you against that. Behavior-based de detections. That's good. Yes. Vulnerability scan. No, there's no vulnerability scan. I wonder why they didn't put that there. No firewall. Now, if you're paying for an antivirus software, I say this all the time, make sure it has all of these features on it. There are some out there that you pay for and have got everything. But... It doesn't have vulnerability scan, and it does not have firewall. Okay, let's take a look at uh, um, the chart here. So before I, this is what they do. So AV test reports on each product's capability in three areas. Good protection against malware, small performance impact, and minimal effect on usability. The last item means the antivirus doesn't freak out users by flagging valid websites or programs is dangerous a product can earn up to six points in each area for a maximum of 18 points total in the latest test almost half of the products among them kaspersky mcafee and orion antivirus plus earned a perfect 18 another large group malware bytes among them which is the one we're reviewing right now managed 17.5 sufficient to earn the the title top product so that's a good thing malware bytes did do good there Researchers at ASC Labs use capture and replay technique to hit multiple antivirus protection systems with precisely the same real-world malware attacks. So we got some good tests going on here. The top performers are earned AAA certification. Those that succeed at least stellar level can take two A's or A or B or C. All the tested products in the latest report earn AAA or AA certifications, all but malware bytes, which came with a B. Oh, maybe I won't review it that high after all. Malware bytes got to be there. Ooh, shoot. Damn. So it did pretty good in not flagging valid websites or programs as dangerous, but it did not do good in the antivirus protection tests against real world malware attacks. It got to be. That's not good, guys. That's not good. Now, when we look at that uh, chart, malware bytes got 7.8. Ooh, it's actually. No, you know what? I'm going to have to give malware bytes a low score in this review. 7.8? Out of 10? Come on. Like Kaspersky is 10. And we did a review on Kaspersky. But, uh, yeah. If you, here you can compare them all. But, yeah. That's not good. 7.8? Come on. Let's take a look at the actual program itself. This is what it looks like here. On the top, it's going to 
be bugging you to activate the license by now. <laughs> All right. Let's exit this. So it'll be green check box when everything's good. All right. Down here, we can look at detection history. And I like this, how it pops up. And then you can bring it back down. That's good. The scanner is right here. <coughs> All right. When you click on scanner here. And they're already trying to sell you something here. <laughs> but anyway, uh, where'd the scan button go? Your scan scheduler here. You can schedule a scan. And hold on a sec. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're already trying to... They're already trying to push me here. Let's click on scan again. Okay, here we go. Now, finally, after all those pop-ups. So when you click on scanner, if you just click scan, it's going to do a full scan. Now, if you want to do a different one, you can go to advanced here, do a quick scan or a custom scan. And you can view a report of the last one they just did. I'm going to go ahead and start that scan. It's going to check for updates first. So it looks like it does memory, startup items, registry, and then file system. And this could take a long time, depending how much stuff you have on your computer and how fast your computer is. It did say it was a fast scan, so we'll come back to this in a bit. Let's take a look at these settings here. So real-time protection does web protection. It says against online scams, phishing sites, and sites with ransomware. Malware and PUP protection, which blocks malware, viruses, adware, potentially unwanted programs. That's what PUP stands for. And more, more. <laughs> ransomware protection locks out your devices exploit protection so it's got all that on you can i guess you can see security news here oh look and it shows you global uh in the world how many things have been blocked by malware bytes i imagine and right now there's zero right now so now if we go to the little sprocket up here in right hand corner upper right hand corner we can go to the settings now you can have it automatically check for updates or just click this button to do it manually so it's going to add an option to Windows Explorer if you check that. Now I want to I want to show down here somewhere. Where was it? Uh, I think under security. Very important, guys. I don't know why it's not on. If you go under security tab, scan for rootkits, it's off. Why? Turn it on. And turn this one on too. Use expert system algorithms to identify malicious. I don't know why they don't have that on. What what's wrong with malware bytes? Why don't you turn it on? Detect on potentially wanted pups uh keep that as always but here you can come in here and change everything you can change the display if there's a virus that's messing with your display you can change it real quick and that that'll stop it now here you could add allow this is the allow list where you can add um like a program that you know is safe like uTorrent a lot of people add uTorrent here if you use it a lot and all these antivirus programs are going to look at it as bad because if you don't use it well, you can download a virus. And I understand why. But if you're tech savvy, add it here so it doesn't block it. Uh, you can show your account. We got a 14-day trial. And that's it. There. There's a lot more stuff you could play with here. You could play with proxy servers. And, uh, configure it to connect to the internet using a proxy server and all that. And if you want to restore default settings, just click this. And it'll probably turn off the uh, what I turned on a while ago. And that's about it, guys. That's all I could see here. Um, for something you pay, I would like to see like a tune-up in there function added on there, a VPN function added on there, you know. And I know it's just an antivirus program, but it's always nice to have all that. If you're going to pay for something, like I said, just for giggles, let's see how much it would cost. <laughs> ah, it's a monthly thing. Crap, I hate monthly things. But anyway, protect one device for three thirty three a month. Build annually, so that means you're going to pay three point three three times twelve is the real price. Once you hit buy now, you're going to see the real price. Or protect up to three devices for four point eighty five times twelve. That'll be the real price you pay once a month. Uh, they make it seem like it's cheap, but you're billed annually, so you're going to pay for one um, big payment. Is what I see here. And that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. I got to give Malwarebytes a... I'm sorry. Two out of five. I mean, look at this thing. It looks... It's just so simple. It looks like a free freaking program. We're going to look at the free version. And I bet you it has almost the same crap. Oh, my goodness. But anyway, 
Uh, I'm going to give it a 2 out of 5. Look at this very low 2 out of 5 malware bytes. Uh, premium. That's what it gets in my review. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon in one of the next reviews.